welcome to my messy kitchen. I just got back from grocery shopping and it's kind of a disaster in here. Busy days when I do my once a month main grocery haul. Now this grocery haul does not include very much meat. It also does not include eggs today at all. Um, I do have some meat though. And then um, it has a lot of snacks because we are very, very, very busy this time of year. It is springtime, it's almost summertime and we have a birthday this month so it's been really, really busy. Um, and you can see all of my mess back there. I need to turn and give you this background. We do have a birthday this month, so some things I got were for birthday celebration type deal. Other things I got were um, just to make my life easier, as you can see behind me with all of the snack foods and everything. I will go back later on this month and get more milks and more produce so i do another grocery haul later on but this is the main get the snacks get the sides get the things that i want to have along with meals we also have a good bit of frozen produce as well as frozen meats in our freezers so we just don't need a lot of meats or produce i'm trying to go through the produce that's in the freezers so you won't see a whole lot here um, today because like i said i'm trying to get through the freezer stash um, so let's get to it. I'll start small because this was one of the first stores I went to. I went to the Chef Supply store and I got two packs of 10 inch burritos to make the kids giant breakfast and giant meat burritos for dinners and breakfast. And then I got them these. We have gotten these before. Uh, it's $11, almost $12 for this pack of 24 tubes of whole fruit. And they're very yummy. The kids absolutely love them. So I got these for them as a special treat. And then I am making matcha or green tea drinks and I like to use this in it. So that was from the Chef Supply store. Just these three items. I didn't get a whole lot. No, not this bread. Um, and then the next store I went to was the grocery outlet and I got a ton of stuff from there, but I'll start with the frozen stuff. We got these power waffles. I got three packs of these for the kids because uh, some mornings homeschooling and getting lunch and or breakfast out and nursing the baby and all the things is difficult. So I decided to make my mornings a little bit easier so they can grab these and look, they're campfire s'mores. So loaded with sugar probably, but eight grams of protein, three packs of these. They can each have one of these. Um, and then that will hold them over until I make them eggs for breakfast or oatmeal. Those are two things that we normally have. Sometimes we have um, granola that I make with the frozen fruit and yogurt. But um, yeah, just to make that easy, I got three packs of those. And then we use hold hemp in a lot of recipes. And then banana chips I thought would be a fun snack for the kids. They don't really like bananas, but I can put this into their... I make like a snack mix for them to keep out on the countertop. And I'll use that in their snack mix. So we got some blueberries and cherries. And these are what, five pounds each? No, four pounds. Four pounds of frozen fruit in each one of those bags. So that will get us through a little while. Four of these marinara sauces just to make our life easy. I also got some pasta from another store and I have some pasta in our back storage that we can use that on. These are for really easy lunches or dinners for mama. Um, like I said, seven weeks postpartum and life's been crazy with my husband working two jobs. So we use one box of this and then we add peas, frozen peas to it. And we call it mac cheese and peas, cheap and easy. Um, four boxes of the white cheddar and I got five boxes of these. These were $1 each. And this one actually isn't organic oh organic pasta but anyways it doesn't matter got these 48 chewy fruit and nut bars for the kiddos easy snacks on the go and then also annie's create a bunny bunny fruit snacks so those will be a fun little snack i think these were like a dollar a box so i got four boxes of those i don't remember how much this was and then we got the kids some graham crackers a good little snack for them a sweet snack sweet treat whatever and then back here i got these for me because they are uh plant-based they don't have any dairy in them so i can eat those and then the kids got this to go into their snack mix we also have some um, fishy crackers and some other things we'll throw into that snack mix two big things of these these are dairy free so i can eat these too as well as the kids we got blueberry and we got raspberry fig bars so we got them the fig bars these i'm going to keep in the car for when aaron takes the kids into town or when I have to go into town for something and I need to give them a quick snack to keep them happy and quiet, you know, for those unexpected, unplanned days that we have in town. 
All right, and that's everything from this store. I've got little ones wanting and needing everything. All right, let's move on to Fred Meyer. I'm trying to do this all in one go. So from Fred Meyer's, I get a lot of my produce and then some of my other stuff, all my organic things come from there. So we got, sorry, we've got tomatoes for sandwiches, celery to make almond butter and celery ants on a log. I got four of these giant oranges. We just got four of them today. And then two red peppers and two yellow or orange peppers. A uh, bunch of cilantro. We make a lot of tacos and fajitas and things like that. So I think with the peppers, we'll be able to make some of those. We've got five, six cucumbers. We love cucumber pickles with apple cider vinegar. And then I like to cube these up and fry these in a pan and make um, sweet potatoes that way. And I also like to cook them all at once. I have a big batch of sweet potatoes that we can keep in the fridge throughout the week to throw on the side for when we have grilled chicken. This is a grilled chicken or a chicken that I got from the store. I have one um, thawed out in the fridge that I'm going to use and cook up this week. But this one is price per pound, $3 per pound. These are drumsticks that we got for the grill, price per pound, $1.49 for organic drumsticks and things like that. All right, two big bunches of bananas back here. So we got three bunches of romaine hearts, four avocados. We go through way more avocados than that. I should have gotten two bags, but I didn't. Um, and a big 16 ounce thing of baby spinach. I like to use the baby spinach in eggs every morning. And then we also got a head of lettuce hiding down here. So that's gonna be for taco salads, things like that. We still have some tortilla chips and we can make some taco salads. I got six pounds total of these honey crisp apples. Kids eat tons of apples around here. I'm running out of room up here. So we'll just go ahead and skip to this. We got sea salted, sea salted caramel dairy-free ice cream, two of those, a coffee, and then another um, kind of salted caramel, so delicious brand dairy-free as well, and a huge bag. How many pounds is this? Five-pound bag of oranges, then a three-pound bag of onions. Aaron requested uh, lunch meat, so I got three pounds of lunch meat and then two pounds of sliced cheese. This is provolone. This is Colby Jack. And like I said, I showed you guys the meat. The kids like cheese and crackers, so got them some crackers. And then I haven't been baking bread, so I bought a variety of bread bread to keep in the freezer. You can see down there, I still have like, I have a ton of flour that I need to use up, but I got one thing of sourdough. The kids don't really like store-bought sourdough. They like mine. Um, and then I got for them, they like this great seed. And then I got three of this sprouted bread, three of those for sandwiches and things like that to be easy. We got two things of soy milk and then three unsweetened organic almond milk kids like butter so I got them butter and Aaron does too he likes to cook with it I don't use butter I'm dairy free and then I got them cheese for their crackers and then cheese for quesadillas and things like that some whole wheat tortillas for breakfast burritos you saw I had some big some larger um, tortillas from another store but I get these and then we can also wrap bananas with peanut butter in these or some kind of fruit with peanut butter or almond butter in these and the kids like to have those for lunch it's grilling season. We've got elk meat for elk burgers, and I didn't get burger buns, but I make um, so I make sourdough English muffins. There's my little baby down there. I'm gonna pick him up in just a minute. He's talking. So we got some Dijon mustard for the sandwiches and for the burgers and things for elk burgers, and then um, some real mayonnaise. The boys need haircuts, and I'm just gonna start cutting their hair myself. So I got us clippers. Then we needed coffee filters. I got them last month, but we're already running through them pretty quickly. So, cause we run the coffee machine twice. Aaron does it in the morning and then I do myself some later when I get up with the kids. Cupcakes for the birthday boy. And then Aaron likes this aloe vera um, soap, fresh cut soap. So we got some of that. This is to make icing for Riker's birthday cake. And then I got some very, very heavily dyed <laughs> decorations for his cake. We've got a big bag, an 18 ounce bag of organic French roast dark coffee for Aaron. And then um, the kids love these yogurt raisins, special treat. This is gonna go in their snack mix. And then this is also gonna go in their snack mix. Four bags, four pounds of this coconut sugar. I love that stuff in my coffee, baking, whatever. And five of these spaghetti 
um, veggie spaghetti things for spaghetti dinners. And then if I don't get a chance to make Riker a homemade cake, cause that and that, and look at this messy house, <laughs> we're gonna make him a confetti cake. So yeah, that does everything from this grocery haul, I do believe, and all of this stuff. So these were the chips that I forgot to get from Fred Meyers, but this is something that I can make for them. Super easy garlic chicken. I got two family size bags of that frozen meal. We'll have that in a pinch and then a big thing of toilet paper. And I will put the total right here so you can see what we have spent so far this month. Like I said, I do go back again and get more produce and more milk. And then um, I forgot that I did not get any yogurt. So I'm gonna have to get yogurt too because I went through the store backwards today. If, I don't know if you guys have ever gone like the opposite direction of what you're, you habitually grow, go. I can't talk. So habitually I go produce section, freezer section, and then um, dry goods, that kind of thing. And then I leave. Well, I didn't. I went to like the clothing toy section and then I went to the dry goods section and then I went produce last. So totally, totally messed myself up. Thought I'd left my phone in the car. It was in my back pocket the whole entire time. Um, so I didn't think I had a list with me. And then when I was leaving the store, I remembered I didn't get chips. Aaron had requested chips for him and the kids um, for lunches and things like that. I forgot chips and then I forgot his soap. So I had to go, I just parked my cart right there in the store. I went and got chips and soap, got out of the store and I did all of this with a broken toe in just a few hours. I had to get back to the baby. I gotta pick up that baby. Yeah, so that's the total for this grocery haul. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this really quick grocery haul. That's my life these days. I have to do everything, boom, 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 on to the next, on to the next. So I had to get all this done. Aaron's going out of town. Um, Ooh, we'll see how we do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I gotta go feed this baby again, change his diaper. Until next time, bye. Bonus footage, bonus footage. We're giving you bonus footage. Okay, so we're just gonna make a snack mix and we're doing half of the yogurt raisins. Uh, I forgot to get pretzels. We normally throw pretzels in here. We've got sesame sticks. We're gonna put in these these things and we're gonna put in these things yeah. off the top the raisins sesame sticks goldfish banana chips we found these banana chips from the grocery haul then we've got chocolate chip bunnies almonds we're gonna put the lid on and try to mix it around so every time we make a snack mix it's different so i'll just share with you guys some of our ideas i went to go get raisins or craisins and i had no idea that we were out and i didn't get any from the store I was looking at a huge bag of craisins and I didn't buy it. It was $11 for like five pounds or something insane. So this is what we have right now. I need to go get raisins and craisins on my next grocery haul. Until then, I will see you guys.